This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Which means it's time for our cooking segment. We have Chef Dwayne Wood, the Director of Nutritional Services at Atumwa Regional Health Center, joining us this morning to show us how to make some Thanksgiving dishes with Thanksgiving being next week. Yes, and, and what we did is we went and found some healthy recipes and different alternatives other than the traditional uh, offerings of mashed potatoes and, right. and uh, stuffing and so what we have here is our turkey breast mm -hmm. and we're going to marinate that in a citrus lime roasted garlic uh, marinade and Smells we've already cheese. zested up our uh, peel of uh, orange lime and lemon zest mm -hmm. and now we're going to get all the juice out of the the fruit Oh wow! which is always a fun thing orange juice you always have these fancy toys. Yeah, I have all kinds of fancy toys. I've been collecting for years. He's a <laughs> professional chef, Scott. That's true, yeah. Yeah, I guess. But my, my personal kitchen's much more well stocked than that. Okay, okay, so we have lemon juice, lime juice, and orange juice in there. Okay. We're also going to put in a quarter cup of honey. Okay. And we're also going to put in some lemon juice concentrate, just right out of it. And actually what this does is tenderizes the chicken meat. It's almost a quick marinade and uh, instant tenderizer. Three cup, th quarter cup of that. We've got some fresh basil in here. Mm -hmm. We also have some roasted garlic that we're gonna squeeze in there. And if you roast that at 450 and just squeeze it, it comes right out. Did you have to cut off the Yeah, you cut off clove? you cut off the top. Okay. A little bit of olive oil, salt, wrap it in tin foil, bake it at 400 for about oh, wow. 30 minutes. Oh wow. And it that is smells delicious. It is really good. And and when you do this, it caramelizes and brings out a lot of the sugar in there. Okay, then you're going to mix oh. it all together. Yes, and some oh, orange it juice. Smells deli delicious. Trying to move quick here so yeah, we got we have three. About 3 minutes. Okay. Not so bad. So anyways, we get that all mixed together mm -hmm. and I am missing some olive oil okay a third a cup of that okay and if you want to go ahead and stir that all right and then what we do is take our turkey breast which has been washed and drained and just put it in there and get it all coated and let that sit in there for a little while and get all those juices in there mm -hmm. and we how do long do you let it sit for like that marinate it actually because we're going to continue to baste it throughout the cooking process oh, okay. it really doesn't make that much of a difference as far as um, how long it does. You don't want to over marinate it too much with all of the lime and acid in there. It'll actually cook the meat. Oh, so okay. it's more for flavoring. Okay. What's so we, anyways, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And what is our next dish? Okay, our next dish is a cranberry and wild rice stuffing. I went ahead and started the rice. Okay. And unfortunately, wild rice by itself was very hard to find here. So this is a wild rice blend. General rule of thumb is two cups of liquid to one cup of rice. Okay. So you get your rice in there, add your liquid. I always like to use chicken stock. It just adds a little bit more flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you put in a cup of golden raisins. Oh, okay. And they cook and they plump up. So our rice is done and this is what that'll look like. And then over here, we have this sauteed- that We have sauteed up some fresh celery, uh, scallions, five scallions, and two cups of fresh cranberries, mm -hmm. which you can find in the store now quite regularly. So we've got that done, and we just add our rice here and get it all mixed up. And again, the colors, the flavors, nice. the- so delicious. I can imagine what it's gonna taste like. Is it it is, it is excellent. We did a diabetic uh, cooking demonstration at our hospital the other day with Dr. Ian Adam, who's a new doctor that we have specializes in diabetes and geriatrics and internal medicine as well. If anybody's looking for a doctor, he's great. He really is, he's my doctor too. Well, you're starting to make me wanna just be a patient at Atoma Regional because- Yeah, I'm looking, I'm just <laughs> and we are so looking at new menus We have less for than that. a minute, so what's our- what's Okay, the next, the next thing is our ap uh, apple cider okay. gravy, which okay. is the bomb. So do, we, do you want to go ahead and maybe save this so when we come back so we don't rush you through it? How about sure, that? Sure, that'll work. Okay, in the and welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're live at Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One with Chef Dwayne Wood, and we're actually making uh, different types of dishes you can make for Thanksgiving, correct? Yes, yes, and again, I recap on the turkey real quick. Uh, what you want to do too is uh, top the turkey with uh, some sliced onion, okay. and then you put it in the oven for uh, 
15 minutes per pound, seven pounds at 325 until it browns nicely. Okay, perfect. Now we've got our stuffing done and we're mm -hmm. ready to do that. And now we're making an apple cider gravy, which I got to tell you is extremely good. You can either obviously do your turkey giblet stock uh, made from the giblets, but obviously when you buy a turkey breast, the healthier part that doesn't come with it. So I chose to use a chicken stock. Okay. Uh, four cups of that, reduce it by half. And then we're going to add apple cider, Ooh. which is really good. And